I know Kung Fu. All right, well, fuck up. Let's see. Everything's different. I gotta set this up in a different place and not bump the tripod. All right. I'm gonna make this video called something like how hey, y'all file your pics. But here, see this right here. Um, this right here, if you think you're good at uh, <laughs> making pics, all right, there, I'll tell you a lot more than old Inspector um, Colombo or Gotti. It's Julius Luke. Um, this is a trick. I just kind of, I mean, I mean just kind of evolved up to it because I've been doing it, but I just finally realized this. Um, you might be able to see it through that. I've been trying it with a camera. I was going to get a piece of paper for this. Try it on this. Now with a marker. Um, if you're following your pick, and you look at it under there, you're constantly fighting. I end up with like a bunch of real little slim hooks and rakes sometimes because. Well, rakes, I do them different. I don't really struggle. It's easier to make a curly-ass rake even than it is to make a nice little elegant hook. But what you end up with is, um, how do I draw this? Um, say this is the hook as you file it. This side of it is going to be higher than that side. And you file back across, so you get back and forth, you end up cutting them down. With a Dremel too, if you use a, if you do like I think a lot of people do, get it kind of close, to draw an outline, get it close with the cutting wheel, and then hand file it. Another tip I do is when I Dremel it, I always touch it. If it gets too hot for your hand, then you're fucking heating it up too much. But um, to keep that from happening, with the Dremel, I'll go this way, then I'll flip it around this way, and you kind of got to eyeball Flipping. that. But once you get down to the file work, I just did okay. Let's find here. Let's say, take this one. Get some of these two duck bills. All right. If you're doing something f flat, let's we'll start with that. Get your file in there. That's gonna be weird because I'm holding it up here, but I'll take it. Um, cuts good at the angle. Cuts good at the angle that way. Just straight across. I don't to do as much. So I'll do this. I'll go one, two, flip it around, three, four. And then that's keeping it even. Um, there's more you can do too. Like the top, where you try to get a flat top of your so one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you're back to start. If you look at that through there, that sucker is flat. And the hook, I go one, two, three, four. And I go one, two, straight across. And you, whatever you do, you do it on both sides. One, two. It's probably as simple, and all you guys know it, but it was. It, it, it's, like I said, I was I guess I was starting to do it anyway, but a breakthrough for me. Whatever you do on one side, you do it on the other. And I, oh, I wish you could see that. There's no way you can sit there and try it. Um, but everything's smooth, there's no tilting this way or that way. And when it hits the top, there's none of that or that. You can tell when you um, file one and you look at the profile. Oh, to get something black is what I like to do. I made these have a purse I stole from an old lady. Uh, fake leather. Uh, but if you look at it this way, it's hooked. This is not finished at all. So don't left my damn hook. But like if you look at it this way and in this way, they're shaped different. That's because they the light reflects off of it. Sometimes you can tilt one this way. Um, you can see where it's curved off, the light reflects. It's kind of the same, but it's got a little wedge on it. So if you do everything even on both sides, you end up with a symmetrical, consistent, flat. I'm tired. The source it another day, but um, the sucker looks good if you do that. Um, yeah, but also the video is how do you do it? Has anybody got any more tricks? Um, I've been talking to a bunch of you light figures. Uh, not like pickers, like makers. I even joined uh, Facebook again to do it. Um, so, yeah, make a video or email me or comment. Put the damn comments. Um, if you can describe it, how do y'all make your um, stuff right? And if anybody's filing down this stuff completely by hand, especially the thicker three-quarter or one-inch metal, um, 
I, I love it. I admire you, but I, I cheat. I do the drone a little. Unless it's a uh, um, Raimondo, a Bogota. I use 100%. Well, no, you not a cheat, I guess. Because I'll take that right there. I'll hold that pick length, put it in the middle. And I'll just grind down to where I have that width. And then I do it all with chainsaw files. Boom. Do the same thing with that pterodactyl. Anyway, I'm rambling. I gotta do some real work. I'm just procrastinating. All right, be good. Bye-bye.